on a better problem. So in this case, again, ladies and gentlemen, we need to graph them. And again, when you have two, now this one's nice because these are already solved for y, correct? So these would be easy to go and graph. All right, so first thing we need to do is identify the slope and the y-intercept. Notice if we don't have a value in front of the x, then we can write 1 over 1. Here, my y-intercept is negative 2. So go down to negative 2. And then my slope is positive 1 over 1. So I go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And I can just follow that pattern. Everybody follows me? Yes, so you write that as negative 2 over 1. Now for this one, I need to go up 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I go down 2 over 1. I'm sorry, so that's my y-intercept, down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. And so what you see with this case is in this problem, I do not have the same line, right? But they actually intersect. And at what point do they intersect at? X marks. 3 comma 1. Okay, So when I'm asking you what is the solution of the equations of the system by graphing, their intersection point is this, the equation. So now let's kind of go into what exactly the different types. So you can have a consistent or you can have an inconsistent. The solution is going to be the point where they intersect. Now, let's think about the problem we did last class, the last problem we did. When the lines are on top of each other, how many times does it intersect itself? Infinite. Infinitely, right? It's on top of each other, so they share the same points. So if you have a graph, Abby, Abby, if you have a graph that if you have a, if you have a graph in a system of equations and the graphs are exactly the same, you don't have one solution point of an intersection, you have infinite many. OK? So if you have a solution, then your system is what we call a consistent solution. If you do not have a solution, then it'd be um, then what we call inconsistent. Now, what type of lines would not ever cross? Parallel. Parallel. So when you have parallel lines, it's what we call inconsistent. All right? It's an inconsistent system. But now, let's think about what are the two ways they intersected. They either intersected at one point or infinite many. Right? So it's either consistent, ladies and gentlemen, or it's inconsistent. It's consistent if it intersects at one, like it does here. If it's consistent at one, it's what we call independent. If it's consistent at infinite many, well, that means it's the same line, it's what we call dependent. You are going to need to know those categorizations. Okay? So the graphing part is the easy part, right? You just graph each line. If it's in standard form, convert it to slope intercept form. Graph them. Find the point of intersection. All right? But just remember if it has a point of intersection, write it. If it's the same line, you write infinite many. If they're parallel, you write no solution. And then label them label the type of system you have. OK? And that's what you guys have for chapter 3.1. OK? Does everybody feel confident enough now?